Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Blue Nose Trading. My name is Tori Solis and today I wanted to show you how to find a glaze recipe and then how to read that glaze recipe in the very most basic way. I'm just going to show you how to calculate a batch from a, gla a glaze recipe that you might find online so or in a book. But we're going to go to glazy.org. So we're going to pull up Glazy, which is a great resource for finding recipes. We're going to go over here to recipes. And then I am looking for a specific one that's going to be good to show you this example. So we're going to search for the Tony Hansen 20 by 5 And it's right here. So we're going to pull this up. And then when you're looking at a recipe on Glazy, oh, that's this funky, a funky one. Let's go to the original. There we go. That's the one we're looking for. So when you're looking into recipe on Glazy here, let's zoom in, you're going to see your ingredients. In this case, it's going to be the five ingredients, and then these should total up to about 100. And then you're going to have additions to the base recipe, such as stain, sometimes bentonite. So this is the recipe. So we're going to switch over to a piece of paper now that we have this recipe, and we're going to look at how to turn this recipe into batches. Okay, so as we have this recipe for the Tony Hinton 20 by 5 glaze, what we're looking at here are percentages. So these are the things that you're going to need. In this episode, we are not talking about how to make a glaze or what these things do. We're only going to be talking about taking the recipe that you found and turning it into batches. It's important to understand that the recipe as we found it on Glazy is written in terms of percentages. So in the on the website it just says 20 20, 20, 20 to 100. So the base of this recipe is 20% custard feldspar, 20% silica, 20% wollastonite, 20% EPK, and 20% fret 3134. In addition to this base recipe, you can add 5% stain to give it a color, and typically 2% bentonite to give it strength and dippability. So let's start here and say that we wanted to just make a 500 gram test batch of this glaze. So the thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the 20% and we're going to multiply that by 5 which is going to give us 100 grams. So since we're using this simple 20 by 20 recipe we know that it's always going to be 100 grams of each of these things And that is going to bring us up to one, two, three, four, five, 500 grams. 500 grams is 100% of our test batch. And then if we wanted to add stain to that, oops, we don't need to write that again. We would do five times five. So it would be 25 grams of stain. And if we were going to add the bentonite to that, we would do two times five and we would be adding 10 grams of bentonite so the total in grams for this batch would be 535 grams so this is a good test batch size the math is going to be the same you take that percentage and multiply it by the number that you want to get to for the five rule well, for this case it's a 500 gram test batch so now let's do a calculation for if we wanted to make a five gallon bucket of this glaze, which give or take, there's a few different ways to do this, but we're going to say that it's about 8,000 grams for a 5,000 gallon or 5,000 gallon for a five gallon bucket of glaze. So we're going to take that initial percentage, so 20% and we're gonna multiply it by 80. And that is going to give us 1600 grams. So again, since it's a very simple glaze that uses the same amount of each ingredient, we know that we are going to be using 1600 grams of all of these materials
And then this totaled up is going to be our 8,000 gram batch. And then if we wanted to add the stain or the bentonite to this batch, we would take the 5 times 80. I'm going to do that one on here because I don't math well. Okay. So that's going to be 400 grams, and then we would take the 2 times 80, which would be 160 grams of the bentonite if we were going to add that. So the total batch size here would be 8,560 8, grams for the 5 gallon bucket batch. This is a basic example of how to get to your your glazes calculated for batches. This is a really easy one because every ingredient is the same amount. So quickly, I'm gonna run through a glaze that is slightly more calcula complicated. I will do the calculations on my calculator phone so that you can see the work done. And so let's do that. Let's find a more complicated glaze. Here I have a significantly more complicated glaze. This is Peacock Green out of John Britt's The Complete Guide to Mid-Range Glazes. It has several different ingredients and some of them are decimals of a percentage and then it also has three different colorants as well as bentonite addition. It's the same concept that we applied to that very simple glaze before. We are going to take three point 38.1 and we're going to multiply it by 5 so we'll do that over here 38.1 times 5 and that's going to give us 190.5 grams and then we're going to take for the silica we're going to do 19 percent times 5 so over here we'll do 19 times 5 that's going to give us 95 grams 14 times 3.3 .3 times 5, so 14.3 times 5, it's going to give us 71.5 grams, and then these next two numbers are actually the same amount, so it's the same there, 71.5 grams for both of these ingredients as well. And this should total us up to 5 100 grams for this batch and then when we add our colorants for the copper carbonate it's going to be one times five which is easy enough it's five grams for the cobalt carbonate it'll be one times five which is five grams these are very it's very basic when you are writing out the colorants and they're very easy math like this okay but I'm hoping that that's helping you guys to understand the point. Oh no, we did bad math. Got distracted. 50 grams. Hmm. Careful, but make sure to double check your math. Or you could end up really messing something up like that. That would have messed things up. So, double check. To do the bucket, it's going to be the same as we did in the last one. So, we are going to take 38... 0.1 times 80, so 38.1 times 80, 3,048 grams, and then we'll do 19 times 80, it's going to give us 15, 20 grams, then 14.3 times 80, three times, it's right up here. Fourteen point three times eighty, it's gonna give us eleven forty four grams. And that total for the batch would be the 8,000 grams. And then we add the colorants in. So as before, we have 1 times 80. 
So 80 grams, one times 80, 80 grams. 10 times 80 is going to be 800 grams. And then 2 times 80 is 160 grams. So this is the amount that you would weigh out of each of these ingredients if you were going to be making a five gallon bucket of this glaze. Just as in this glaze, this is the amount of this ingredient and this amount is 20% of 8,000 and we can double check that math here. So we'll take 1,600 and divide that by 8,000 to double check our math and we get 0.2, which is 20% when you turn the decimal into the percentage. So we know that we are doing the correct math. I hope this is helpful for you guys. Again, I'm not going in on to how to understand glaze chemistry, but if you wanna find a recipe from someone who's developing glaze recipes and you wanna know how to get that recipe and make something with it, this is how, this is the math. So. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. I hope that you found this helpful. If you would like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you want to help support my channel and make my dreams come true, you can find me at patreon.com slash blue nose trading. Remember that you're like super important and go hug your friends and also drink a whole bottle of water. And I will see you guys next week.